Hello, my name is Mani Yusuf. I'm a consultant cardiologist at the National Heart Institute as well as CME project manager for the Egyptian Society of Cardiology. My goal today is to introduce case scenarios writing protocol for the EGSC Cardiac Academy 2020 Cardiology Mentorship course. We'll be discussing these six points today. Audience, targeted testing, testing one idea per item, providing simple, short, and focused STEM, leading question and option set, avoiding tip-offs and clues, as well as images and tracings. Before we start, you need to be familiar with terminology. An item is a complete question with obvious answers, stems everything that comes before the question, leading question, the specific question you'll be inquiring about, option set is both the correct and the incorrect answers, distractors are the incorrect answers, key answer is the correct answer. So let's start. Audience. You need to ask yourself, who is my audience? Are they these little guys who will sell for bowl or and be totally satisfied? Or are they these guys who will sell for nothing less than a thick juicy steak? Keep these two pictures in mind when you're writing. Target testing. Target the common stuff. Do not build your test questions on, for example, a case report from a cardiology research journal. You need to test the common stuff that a general cardiologist faces daily during their clinical practice like ischemic heart disease, hypertension, valvular heart disease, etc. Testing one idea per item. Okay, let's see here. 86 hypertensive male patient has been complaining of severe headaches for three days and his best treatment option will be. Let's solve this together out loud. Hey, number one, ACE inhibitor. What do you think? Mm, could it be about a hypertension? Two, blood thinner. Maybe it was a TIA. Three, antibiotics. Well, do think with the cavities. So you really need to be very clear and specific about what it is that you want to ask, okay? Providing simple, short, and focused STEM, leading question, and option set. All right, let's take the STEM as an example. If you're going to test someone on the CCG, they don't need to know all of this fill in mumbo jumbo. This is all they need to know, that this ECG belongs to a 57 female with acute onset chest pain that radiates to her left arm. Keep it simple, short, and focused. Leading question. Avoid vague terms like commonly, frequently, rarely, and usually. Avoid negative constructions. For example, okay, the results were not negative except for, or like, what does that even mean? Not negative except for, all right? So changing mode is confusing, and studies actually show that one-third of us do not make that switch. So you need to keep things positive, and you need to avoid abbreviations. Option set. You need to avoid absolute terms this time, like always and never. You need to avoid multiple concepts. Do not compare investigations to management to presentations, for instance. Stick to one concept per option set. Avoid tip-offs and clues. Watch out for tip-offs. For example, 25-year-old female patient with rheumatic fever on long-acting penicillin, and this is the option set that we've been given. Her echo shows, number one, hockey appearance, characteristic of rheumatic fever of the mitral valve. Number two, ejection fraction, 55%. Number three, small left ventricle. All right, I can give you a picture of flowers, and you'd still be able to get this question correct. Of course, it's number one, hockey stick appearance, characteristic of rheumatic fever of the mitral valve. All right, whereas if I were to give you this set, along with the echo and pointing arrows, if you don't know what pathophysiology is, if you don't know what the hockey stick appearance looks like, you only have a 33% chance of getting this correct. So don't give out clues. Images and tracings. If you give someone this image and you ask them to comment on it, you are literally telling them to use their wildest imagination. And unfortunately, we're not testing science fiction. So you need to provide perfectly clear images that no two cardiologists could ever dispute over. All right, now to summarize, we've discussed today the audience, targeted testing, testing one idea per item, providing simple, short, and focused STEM, leading question and option set, avoid tip-offs and clues, as well as images and tracings. Now, with that said, I expect you to bring this knowledge along with you to the EGOC headquarters for implementation practice, and I will be seeing you soon.